Hi, it's Lori. Today is round three, phase three, day six. Just coming on to give you an update. I don't know what my weight is because I haven't been weighing this week. Um, the reason I haven't been weighing this week is because although I don't let the scale bother me, um, I cheated so much over the weekend and I've been sick and Tom came and I felt like I was just so bloated and I just, uh, and I cheated really bad. So I think this number on the scale would have bothered me. So I decided not to weigh. Um, I think for the first time it would have bothered me. And I updated that on my fitness pal. So I'm not trying to hide from it or anything since I haven't been on here blogging, even though I did do my tag blog. But um, that's not why I haven't been on. It's just because I've been sick and busy and tired. I don't normally introduce Ezekiel breads until like into the third week of P3 just because I don't know I just don't feel like I should so um, I had some Ezekiel toast though on Monday because I just wanted some toast so I had some um, and I also had some orange juice which was just the 100% unsweetened orange juice and I don't normally have that until later on either but and I do fine with it but um the next day I got up and I felt huge I mean I felt swollen and just huge so yesterday I did a fat fast and I did a cheesecake that it wasn't Miss HCG girls cheesecake because um, I was too tired Tuesday I cleaned two houses and I don't even remember what I had for dinner oh yeah I do I had a taco salad Tuesday was my birthday and I thought, well, I'm going to make this cheesecake. It was a no-bake cheesecake. I wanted to take an easy, simple one instead of taking the time to bake one. So I did that one, and I, I tweaked it, of course, so it didn't have any sugar in it. I decided to do a fat fast with it on Wednesday, and that was my birthday cake. <laughs> After I did the fat fast yesterday, I got up today, and I felt like I was even bigger. So I really don't think it worked. And... I kind of wish that I would have weighed myself just so I could see for sure if it worked or not, but I would bet money that I was up again today. I would actually bet money that I'm well over my LDW from last round. I know I'm definitely way over my LDW from this round. I gave everything back from this round. But that's what happens when you cheat, you know. Face the fact, it's true. Today I just ate real clean, um, P2 friendly foods actually. and. I haven't actually eaten very much. I'm just eating just to hunger only. I mean more of it. I'm not doing 500 calories or anything. That's just the foods I'm eating. And I've done two Cali kickers today. So I'm already feeling like I'm already feeling lighter, if that makes any sense. But it's true. It was Tuesday. I had to go get some groceries after I was done working. So I went to Walmart. I was like glancing over the clothes and I saw a rack that had a bunch of jeans on it and it said five dollars. So I'm like, ah, I gotta check that out. Well, they had a bunch of size fours. So I tried, grabbed a couple and went and tried them on and I didn't get them because, you know, they didn't fit. They were too big, actually. So I didn't get them. I don't weigh less. That's for sure. Like I said, I'm sure I'm over my LDW from last round. But my point is even though the, the scale isn't going to show any change unless it's up something shifted because those size fours are too big and the ones the ones I have my size fours that I have I'm pulling them up I don't think I'm down to a two though so I don't know I haven't tried any on but I don't think I'd be in a two I don't know we'll see the skinny jeans I got are size fours and my daughter tells me they should be a size smaller because they're not supposed to be loose in the butt of course, I don't have a butt anymore, so <laughs> I don't know. So I'll show you some of the things I got for my birthday. That'll be fun. <laughs> my husband bought me a shirt that I wanted. Yeah, I'm a True Blood fan. I like True Blood. I'm into the whole vampire stuff, so. And I got this weight set that I wanted. And I got, um, oh, Don't you, want my cut? you want to show them your cut? It's too 
My husband cut himself. He super glued it. Huh? What do you mean? With actual super glue? Oh, jeez. Okay, I got interrupted, so I had to cut the video and start anew. <laughs> Try to edit it so it doesn't look too bad. I was in the middle of telling you what I got for my birthday. I got a Kohl's gift card and an Amazon gift card. I love it. And I got this ball. It's really cool. Let me move this. I got this ball right here. It's kind of squishy. Can you hear that? It's got like sand or something in it. I don't know what it's got in it, but see what it says? It's eight pounds. And I'm going to do, uh, I asked for this. So I'm going to do, I have a workout that I'm going to do with it. Oh, yeah. The best thing. I got to show you. Yeah, I got my Ninja. I had a food processor that I've had for, I got it when Brooke was a baby. So I've had it for like 23 years. She's 23 now. <laughs> and it finally broke, actually. So the hubs got me a Ninja. Isn't that freaking awesome? I'm so happy. I don't think I have anything else to say. I don't think. But, oh yeah, I want to say one thing. Tomorrow I'm going to straighten my hair for the first time in quite a while. And the reason I'm doing it is because I want it to be straight for what I'm going to do on Saturday. On Saturday, I'm going up to a salon here in, in the town that I live in. My cousin, her name's Kimmy. Kimmy had, has, she has a little boy that's about two years old. She actually has five boys and her youngest is a couple years old. And when she was pregnant with him, she found out that she had ovarian cancer. So as soon as he was born, she did the chemo and everything you need to do and ended up cancer free. Well, about a month ago, five weeks, four or five weeks ago, she found out that she has non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So she has cancer again. And there are some benefits going on here in town for her. And one of them is being done by one of the hair salons here in town. And Kimmy went to the salon when she realized that she was going to lose all of her hair again. And she went ahead and shaved her head. She had her head shaved except for a mohawk. She left a mohawk. You got to know Kimmy. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. She has gorgeous blonde hair and it was getting long. And anyway, she got her, she got her head shaved with just left a mohawk and dyed it pink. So this salon is doing for just for donations. They're not charging for it. They just ask that you leave a donation for Kimmy and they're doing pink streaks and they, they booked up solid with these. It's for all, all day Saturday. They're doing them. And I have an appointment. I actually made six appointments. There's six of us going all together. Me and my mom, my daughters. Chase is going to go get pink in his hair. I mean, the support is phenomenal that she's getting. And they decided to even do it throughout the week. This past week they've been doing it. Into next week they're going to do some. And another salon here in town has actually picked up the slack. And they're taking appointments too. So it's really amazing support. Everybody just loves her. So anyway... After Saturday, you're going to see me with a pink streak in my hair. We're kidding. Probably going to get two pink streaks for somebody else. Okay. That's all I had to say. See ya.